my channel i hope all of you are having a fantastic day so far today's makeup look is going to be on this valentine's day inspired makeup look it is very i would say it's not a soft makeup look of course it is very dramatic i wouldn't say it's really simple to do either because it does take a lot of time so i do apologize if i made this video really hard for you guys but it is really 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 beautiful and i absolutely love it so yeah if you want to learn how to create this beautiful makeup look for valentine's day then just please keep on watching okay so i'm just going to put my hair back because you know i didn't want it to be all up in the way i'm gonna look like a grandma you guys so please don't laugh at me okay but don't laugh i know i'm gonna look like a grandma like this or like a little 12 year old girl with their hair like this <laughs> i know it looks freaking hilarious right now but please don't judge please don't judge all right so now that we look like fucking matilda all right we're gonna get on with this makeup look. All right, you guys, so I am going to prep my face first and I'm going to go in with my Dynamic Skin Recovery Moisturizer from Dermalogica. I have been talking about this on my Snapchat. You guys know how I feel about this if you're from my Snap fam. I have mentioned that I am completely obsessed with this and I love how it just looks when I apply my entire makeup. It My skin just looks amazing. It looks so smooth. So, so I am going to be using this as my moisturizer today. I'm just going to apply this all over. So now we're going to apply our Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You apply this first on my T-zone area. And then just rub all of the rest all over the face. Today we're going to be using a brand new foundation. I have not tried this foundation out. So today will be like my first impressions and I will get to see how this works well on my skin. So um, we're going to give this a try today. This one is in light beige. So this definitely does match my skin tone. I'm really happy because I was really skeptical about it. I didn't know if it was going to match my skin tone. I didn't, know, I didn't know if it was going to be too dark or too light. So this is a perfect match. I really like it. So far the formula feels good. Um, it is definitely buildable. It is not full coverage like after like with the first layer but I'm pretty sure I can build this up all right you guys so this foundation looks a little bit more pale I believe on camera but in person it looks a little bit more warm um, this foundation is definitely buildable it was it didn't give me like super full coverage right away I did have to apply like a few layers for it to be full coverage you guys know I love full coverage foundation so this was the closest shade to my skin tone so it is okay I do um, like it so far so let's just see how it looks with the entire makeup on. For concealer, I am going to try for the first time as well the Tarte Miracula Creases Concealer. I do not know how this is going to work out for me, so I am going to mix a little bit of this and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer that I have, my absolute favorite one, the one that is in 1.0. So we'll see how both of these work out together. This one is in the shade light medium sand. So obviously this concealer is a creases concealer, so hopefully um it does meet my expectations this is a very 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 thick concealer you guys it's way more thicker than my anastasia beverly hills concealer and i thought that one was thick no this one is super super thick so if you're not a fan of thick concealers i don't recommend this one but um we'll see how it works all right so now i'm going to blend with my beauty blender All right, so, so far so good. Now I'm going to apply the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 1.0. 1. 1. <laughs> to contour the face, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in Caramel. I'm just going to blend everything out with my e.l.f. small stippling brush. Okay. 
To set the under eye area, I'm going to go in with my favorite powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to apply it with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to set the entire face using my RCMA No Color Powder. To warm up the face, I'm going to be going in with my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer and my Morphe M437 brush. I really am loving the results from this foundation so far. Hopefully by the end of the video it still looks the way it does right now but it's looking pretty pretty good. To contour the face a little bit more I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics blush palette and I'm going to take this blush right here and I'm going to apply it with the same brush. For blush I'm going to use my Tarte's palette from Tarte and I'm going to take this blush right here with my Morphe M556 brush. Alright you guys, so I am going to do my nose contour and eyebrows off camera. You guys know the drill just so we can speed this video up a little bit. So give me two quick seconds and I'll be back with you guys to do the eyes. Okay, so now I have my eyebrows and nose contour on. I'm going to spray MAC Fix Plus all over my entire face so everything can just build and combine together. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my highlight and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam. I'm going to use Crushed Pearl and Star Burst. And I'm going to apply this highlight with the Morphe M501 brush. Yas, bitch. Yas, bitch. Yas. And I'm going to apply a little bit right here. Alright you guys, so for this makeup look, I'm going to be using my Mega Pro 3 palette from Lorac and my Morphe 35O Matte palette. First palette we're going to be using is the Morphe palette. So the very first thing we're going to be doing is adding highlight to the brow bone. I'm going to be using this one right here and I'm going to be applying it with my Morphe M333 brush. I do want my brow bone to stand out, so I am going to pack on more than usual with that shadow. For our transition color, we're going to use this one right here, and I'm going to be using my Morphe M513 blending brush. So what I'm going to do is just pack on the eyeshadow right on the outer corner. This is going to add more definition and depth to the whole entire makeup look. What the orange is going to do also for this makeup look is brighten up the neutrals and kind of give it a little bit more warmth as well. We are going to be working with a little bit more of like reddish tones for this makeup look. So we are not really going to be using like super brown browns if you know what i mean so as you guys see the darkest part of my eye is the outer corner and i just drag the rest into the crease so the next shadow we're going to be using is this one right here we are going to apply it with the same brush and we're going to apply it the same way we did with that orangey shade so again you just want to repeat the same process you want to apply that shadow right on the outer corner first you want to pack it on first and then blend it out in circular motions once you've done that you want to drag the rest of the eyeshadow and windshield wiper motions into the rest of the crease the next two shadows we're going to be using are these two right here and we're going to use the same brush and pack it on the outer corner and right on the crease by packing on the eyeshadow too is going to give you more pigmentation as to just starting like right away and blending it so if you want more pigmentation on your shadows i recommend patting it first and then blending it out it just makes the eyeshadow stay on right when you right where you put them so that is one major tip if you want the pigmentation of the shadow to be really really noticeable 
the last shadow we're going to be using is this one right here. It's a very, it's a very dark brown shade. And this one's going to be mainly applied right here on the outer corner. And with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend everything out just to make sure there are no harsh lines or anything like that. So now we're just going to do the bottom lash line. That way we can just get rid of this palette and we're all done with it as well. I'm going to be using these two right here and this shade right here as well. I'm going to apply this one first and then these two right here. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M431 brush. For the lid, I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pod and this is going to help me make the lid more defined and it's also going to help the eyeshadow that we're going to be using pop more on this makeup look. So I am going to um, use this flat brush. It's really, really small and detailed and it's really going to help me cut that crease. We are only going to cut the crease halfway through so we're only going to stop about right here. First, I'm just going to apply the paint pot on the lid just so we can clean up all of the residue from the eyeshadows we used. And I'm just going to slowly start making that crease. I'm just going to stop right about there. Right here on the center, you really don't want to leave the paint pod just straight down because it's going to look really ridiculous when you put the eyeshadow on top of that. So what you want to do is just kind of grab that brush and just kind of brush and just kind of make flick motions to kind of just blend that out. That way we won't have like a harsh straight line going down the center of, of our eye. All right, you guys, so now that we have our lids ready to go, we're going to apply the shade that's going to go on the lid. And we are going to go in with the Mega Pro 3 palette from Lorac. And the shadow that we're going to be using is this one right here. And we're just going to get any flat brush to apply this with. I am going to wet the brush and add MAC, MAC Fix Plus to the brush as well. Next shadow we're going to apply on top of that pomegranate shade is going to be this rose gold shadow. It is called Rose Quartz. If you do want to leave the makeup look like this, you can, although I am just going to apply this rose gold shade on top of it just to kind of soften up the look a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit too red, if you know what I mean. So I am going to just tone it down a little bit with this rose gold shade. For the inner corner highlight, I am going to use Snow from this palette right here and I'm just going to use a pointed brush. I do use MAC Fix Plus again to make the eyeshadow pop a lot more. And for eyeliner, I am going to use the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I wish I would have gotten the matte one because this one is the shiny looking one. And I don't really like shiny um, eyeliners that look like plastic. So I would recommend this one, but to get the matte one because the vinyl one is... Mm, but it is the only thing that I have right now to work with. So I am going to be using this one. For bottom eyeliner, I'm going to use my Sigma Wicked Wicked Gel Liner. You guys know this is my fave at the moment. And I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 pencil to apply on the waterline. Alright you guys, so I was going to do different lashes today since I did promise you guys I was going to do different lashes because I know you guys are tired of me using the same ones over and over and over but the ones that I was gonna wear are not I'm not feeling them for this look they're really beautiful lashes but I feel like they just do not go with this makeup look because I feel like 
this is more of like a dramatic look and those are more for like soft makeup looks so I'm not going to be wearing those I will show them to you guys either way they are these lashes from pretty little lashes they did send these to me so I'm really really thankful for that thank you so much pretty little lashes for these amazing lashes but um, I'm not gonna be using these these are the ones that I was planning to use but um, like I said, I feel like they're a little bit too short for my eyes and how I like them to be So I will be doing another makeup look using these lashes For lips, I am going to be doing my favorite lip combo I am going to be using Secret Agent and Bombshell from Lorac And I'm going to be applying the NYX Jumbo White Pencil on the center Alright, so I do want to add freckles to this makeup look just because I've been obsessed with them so far But it's totally optional. You can just leave it like this, of course, but me, I'm extra AF So I am going to add freckles just to give it a little bit of a um, I don't know what you would call this, but I really want to add freckles like, you know it's just me but so for the freckles i'm going to use my anastasia beverly hills dip brow in dark brown and i'm just going to use a very pointed pencil brush so for the fake freckles you don't want to go too heavy on it because you don't want it look like there's like legit like really dark dots all over your face so you want to make them look a little bit more natural and the only way you can do that is to make them a little bit like not so dark and you want to make sure you don't put them all together you want to se separate them out like throughout your face on this area you don't want to go too heavy and just really gently start applying them on your face Alright you guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a lot of new things. If you do recreate this makeup look for Valentine's Day, don't forget to tag me. I would love, love, love to see all of your recreations. I hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever you are. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.